What is up guys, it is Wavis and welcome back to another video and right now you're probably looking at a dark screen, let there be, no I'm just kidding. Knowing me I'll probably put some random stock image up to make this less awkward than it already is. Today is a Clash of Clans video, it's a new series that I started on my channel. For those of you who like 8-Ball Pool, do not worry, 8-Ball Pool is not going anywhere as far as I know. This should not affect even the upload schedule of 8-Ball Pool, it is simply just a new series I added onto my channel, so I'll be doing a road to 100 million on 8-Ball Pool and then I'll be doing a road on Clash of Clans as well. So for those of you on my channel who have been asking me to play Clash of Clans, you can get Clash of Clans videos. And for those of you who've been wanting me to play 8-Ball and have subscribed to me to play 8-Ball, you also get 8-Ball pool videos. So I will be doing both series. The upload schedule should not overlap. In fact, it should give you more uploads than I would usually upload. And now that that's over, let's get on with the video. So a little bit of a backstory. I have not played this in years. I've never even played it on my current phone right now. I played this before I had a phone, which was was definitely years upon years ago so it gives me some kind of terms of service about like in-app purchases or something like that I had to read that and stuff like that not because I'm gonna shut up but yeah when I first played this game the the pictures were like really different and stuff like this is kind of the same and everything but like more of like the loading screens they were different from me when I first started playing the game but this kind of like build up to the story is kind of the same if I remember correctly like some random goblin dude just like comes and tries to wants to kill us or something like that i can't remember exactly why i don't know if there even is a reason why i just kind of appeared out of like nowhere like the depths of oblivion but for some reason this green goblin tribe leader wants beef because he's not cool with just leaving people alone or something like that now this part i never understood right here he's like wow there they are attack goblin horde and stuff like that he sends freaking two people that's not even a ho that's like not even that's like not even a party. That's a lame party. Who? What party has two people? And he seriously thought that he was actually going to do something by sending those two goblins. He, like, that plan worked out in his head or something like that. Anyway, the dude tries to destroy our whole base by bringing two freaking people or something like that. And then these wizard guys come out of nowhere to help us for some reason. I don't really understand. But anyway, this guy's village only has like one cannon and then like... Uh, whatever that is I don't even know can, can even like three goblins fit in that building well anyway it doesn't even matter so we only need to set down a few wizards we can keep the other ones for like later battles and stuff like that because they're actually they're actually pretty powerful and you don't get them until a later level and everything so it would be nice to kind of keep them even though they want us to set them all down uh, I'm not cool with that. I remember that you always do want to keep them just in case you get into an actually hard battle other than just like a level one cannon or whatever that is. So one more thing that I also noticed about this person. We appeared out of like nowhere, right? Like we just loaded into the game and this a person appears on our screen and now she wants us to be like the leader of her tribe or whatever this is. I don't even know where these people came from. I don't know who we are technically. I feel like there should be some kind of conspiracy theory on all of this. Like we appear out of nowhere. And all of a sudden we're like the cult leader or something like that and we need to build and fix everything up but other than that it's it's just a game so i'm probably reading into it too much unless if i'm not because if i'm not then i'm not and that but anyway without getting too in depth onto like the whole story of this game because honestly there is none this doesn't make any sense we just appeared out of nowhere and then all of a sudden we're like their leader and master and stuff like that go ahead and build the gold storages i'm kind of skipping the times for you guys because i really just don't want to drown this video out with like a bunch of like waiting times and stuff like that we go ahead and build the gold storage and stuff and then this dude comes back and he's like wow we goblins love gold and stuff like that even though he ran past it in the first battle to go for the king and he only sent two people what is he gonna send three this time or something or is he all out is that all his friends now this person wants us to go to barracks to attack him before he attacks us or something i'm not too scared about him attacking us because his idea of an attack plan is to send two of his buddies out with like freaking like bats or something to try and take down a cannon. So I really am not worried about that. But I guess for the sake of the tutorial, we actually have to do it. So right now, it wants me to gem up the warriors and stuff like that. I don't really find the need to. But anyway, we're actually supposed to go ahead and attack the goblin horde again because... Uh, I don't know because apparently we have beef now because they dropped they dropped the dris what am I saying they dropped the disc track on us so I just decide to put they only have one archer tower at this point it's like they like to put one of everything everywhere but anyway other than that we just go ahead and it's just really it really is nothing we don't even have to use any wizards there was just like I didn't even have to use all my barbarians I just put them down because I was bored of watching them take down the town hall you know what I mean.
Anyway, we take down the town hall and then the whole rest of the village is just basically, it was just only freaking three things. You guys know exactly how it goes and everything like that. So we go back to town and now she asked me to actually name our village and stuff like that, which you guys actually did decide the name. You guys wanted it to be Wavis the Rapist, but uh, me not wishing to get banned or anything like that, I decided to go with the next best thing, which is Wavis the Lenny. Why would you guys want Wavis the Rapist? But anyway, and... By the way, that is not the way you spell my name. You don't spell my name like that. My name isn't even Wavis. It's actually Wavis, but... Now, if you guys don't know why I chose the name Wavis the Lenny instead of, like, Wavis the Rapist and how it actually kind of confers to Wavis the Rapist, because the Lenny face looks like this. So I think that should talk enough for itself to say why it's pretty close to Wavis the Rapist. I mean, I mean, come on, it's pretty easily. So right here, when I first started playing the game, this is what got me. So right here, she's like, Chief, you obviously know what you're doing. We'll leave you to do whatever you want. Learn how to play the rest of the game yourself and we never see her ever again in the rest of the game now that really really tripped me out because i had no idea what i was doing all i know is that this big like green dude came in and like tried to kill us or village for no reason we didn't even do anything and she gave me like point and go instructions on how to like defeat the dude and train the barracks and then she just completely left and said you obviously know what you're doing goodbye so I had to look up tutorials on YouTube and stuff to figure out how to do when I first played this, but obviously, this is when I was noob a few years ago, I obviously know how to play the game now. I still am a noob, but I'm more of an educated noob and stuff. Now this, the boat thing, I have never seen this before in my life. I have no idea what this is. This was not here when I last played the game. I don't know what this does, but it does have a free rebuild, and right here it says it can take you to new places. I don't... I don't know what that is. I don't know if it takes you to Narnia or something like that. I'm not sure if I want to find out, but if one of you could tell me exactly what that build does and why it's even in the game, because I've never seen that before. I don't know what it's there for. It must have been a new update or something like that. But anyway, I just go ahead and just wait for my troops to train up so that I can actually go ahead and do the stuff that I'm supposed to do. And while I'm in here, I come across a few people that I've never seen before. Now, I look at this first guy is the miner. I have never seen this dude before. It's been a long time since I played this game. I was here with like the OG troops and stuff like that. Maybe a few updated ones. Now this guy, it says that he can dig underground and then like he's like immune to like all traps or something like that. That seems a, like way too overpowered. I don't know why they thought that was a good idea. I don't know what his attack strategy is like, but that seems like really OP to me. I don't know what that's all about is he really like extremely overpowered because i would use that guy any day of the week and twice on sundays because he seems like nothing can kill him he he goes underground how is anything supposed to hit him unless he's up underground anyway i definitely need to know more about that guy because his powers seemed way too overpowered they seem kind of unfair but of course they probably have some system going to where it doesn't make him like freaking invincible or anything like that. So right here, you see me kind of building up my base. I actually have some knowledge about this again. Uh, on my earlier account, I was a Town Hall 7, like a maxed out Town Hall 7. But I put too many walls down. I forgot that gold was actually a thing in the game. And now I can't even go and find a match. So I'm going to have to actually go ahead and do the next goblin message. I was actually looking forward to playing against an actual person's village. But it looks like I just have to go ahead and do this one. Now this thing has two cannons. Like a thousand gold. I think that's better than any multiplayer mission anyway. But we're just going to go ahead and set down our... I don't even think I used wizards in this one. I think I just used barbarians because, oh, never mind. I did use wizards. What am I talking about? But anyway, I left one wizard just in case I was in trouble on like another battle or something like that. So that I'll have an extra one that has, can basically clean up everything else that goes wrong and things like that. So they just go ahead and take out the town hall and then three star this base, obviously, for the money. Now the thing is when we're done with that and we have our thousand gold and stuff and winning that battle and everything and you go back to your village you see that everything is already full my army camps are already full now i know some of you are wondering well how do you do that it's actually a trip that i didn't even know about and some of you are probably like i already know how to do that and stuff like that basically you try to max out your barracks not your army camp but your barracks until they are completely full and you can't add any more even if it maxes out your army camp because they will train the ones that you have already trained even though they can't fit into the army camp so when those warriors actually do go they'll add the ones that are already trained it's a pretty good trick that i didn't know about so i end up spending all the thousand coins to find a match 
and then I eventually found a match at the very last thing. I could not press the next button another time without spending like a gym to actually go to the next thing. So this is my basically my last resort. This is the only thing that I can get with the troops that I have. As you can see, there's not much. There's just a few cannons and an archer tower, and it's easily can be taken out with just a few barbarians. I don't even have to use the wizard on this one, and it gives us a thousand coins. So basically, I'll make back my profit of my coins. But that's basically it. Hopefully, we can get lucky on the next time I hopefully So now that we've actually won the match and we head back to our barracks and we go ahead and train our troops because I actually need to train more because I'm almost all out of them. So as you can see, I can only put 20. I can only bring 20 out to battle, but I train 32 there. That's because while I'm battling, the others will actually go ahead and spawn in the army camps so that when I come back, they can refill and I can be full and ready for the next battle and everything like that. So after that, we have a thousand coins and we go ahead and try to find a match. And we actually got pretty lucky here because the first match here has a thousand gold and as you can see all of his defenses are basically wide open so this is a very easy just barbarian attack i don't need any wizards or anything like that or at least i thought so at the time so i just go ahead and then lay down all the barbarians on the cannons and the archer tower and they go ahead and try to take it out there so i don't know exactly how to put on each one because again i haven't played this level in a long time i haven't even played this game in a very long time but i hope that this is enough to do the job as you can see they take out both the cannons and there's only like i think six of them left to take out the whole rest of the village but still perfectly well enough to actually take down the whole thing now i look over here and this guy has his walls all of his walls are over there they're not even doing anything they're not even protecting anything in the village now do not take advice from this guy when it comes to his wall he doesn't even he didn't even put it around like an army camp he didn't even try to put it around the gold storage or anything he could have perfectly fit it around the gold storage to give it a little bit of protection maybe one of his defenses but no he just completely left it wide open over there doing nothing please do not take attack strategy and defense strategy from this guy i don't i i don't know what he's thinking about that i don't know what went through his head when he decided to put the walls there but nonetheless he decided it and it was not a very good decision unless if he has some kind of like deeper meaning to that or something i don't know it's just a straight line it doesn't look like it has much deeper meaning than that so now that we're back at base we train as many barbarians as we can so that they can kind of reform and get our army camps full while we're out at battling and actually using them and stuff like that we go ahead and try to find a multiplayer map right here and we get a thousand of each which should just about if not completely max out both of our storages but it's perfectly fine all the defenses are pretty open but there's one thing about this base that is unsettling and it is that right there that absolutely terrifies me when it comes to computers and ai and stuff like that in games they really don't have my back so knowing me they'll go right for the army camp instead of the cannon but luckily with great enough placement they all went for the cannon which is exactly what i wanted them to do because if they went for the army camp then it's basically rest in peace me and all of my troops and all of my elixir and stuff like that so really not a fun time but luckily it looks like they all went from the defenses and then we distract the cannon right there and then we bring in a couple of barbarians to the back to kind of get a few cheap hits on the cannon before it actually realizes oh crap i'm stupid there's someone hitting me from the back that sounded gay wait no 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 gate there's nothing wrong with being gay okay i'm just gonna stop it right i'm embarrassing myself too much the barbarians are fighting and it actually looks like a close battle between them and the cannon but they end up barely surviving that so if they didn't survive that that would have been very horrible for me because then the cannon would have taken out everyone else and i wouldn't have gotten much elixir or gold at all maybe even not if any elixir and gold at all So we're about to run out of time here. I didn't want to put down the wizard though, just because 
It really didn't matter for a few couple hundred more elixir to put down the wizard when it could save us a lot of elixir in the future for a future battle and stuff like that. But we go ahead and we head on home right here. Now as you can see, our army camps are already full. That's why you need to train excess. So while I was out doing the battle and stuff like that, they all trained and now they're all completely full and I can go right next in to the next match everybody. So that's the whole reason why you do all of that. But before we do that, so I was trying to decide what should I upgrade here? I was thinking thinking maybe I do the cannon or maybe I do like the storages or something like that because the gold storage needs to be upgraded if we can hold more gold and the elixir storage is very important too so I decided that the gold storage should be one of them just so that we can hold more gold after we get battles because gold is not as easy to come by as elixir is because elixir is apparently abundant in a lot of people also decided that maybe one of our cannons should be upgraded because we can't have two level one cannons because at least one of them needs to be upgraded because for harder troops it's obviously harder to kill them but we looks like we actually got a reward here for a couple of gems which is perfectly fine i don't know what it was about but i mean it's free gems who asked questions about free gems we go ahead and head into a next game and right here no i did not find this first try it's this thing called editing look it up anyway and just kidding this looked like a trap to me. So I was like, this is way too good to be true. This would max out my gold storages and elixir. I'm looking around for like something like hidden Teslas or something like that. Some like bombs that are about to go off, destroy all my 20 barbarians. There's nothing guys. This guy's defenses are completely open up and all of his mines are full and stuff like this. This is obviously an abandoned base. He only has like three defenses guys. So I am obviously gonna take out all of them easily and get all of his gold now this will definitely max up my gold it is times like these where you wish you would have upgraded your gold storages sooner to get as much gold as you can but obviously i did not do it maybe i should probably do stuff like that faster in the future and stuff like that so it looks like they're about to take down his town hall now guys i am not all about trophies because again trophies give you harder opponents and stuff like that and i kind of want to sit back and farm resources so that i can upgrade stuff so i go ahead take the town hall just so i don't lose trophies and I'm out of there because it really didn't make sense for me to take all of that dude's coins because I was already maxed out it would just be trophies for me and obviously I don't care about trophies and the next guy can have the rest of his coins and stuff like that really didn't make sense at all for me to take any of his coins at that point right there but that's basically it for this video guys we have the gold storage and the cannon upgrading and stuff like that after this video I upgraded a few other things like simple things like the gold mines and stuff like that maybe the gold storage another time just because this game does take quite a while and if i were to show you every attack and upgrade we would have 8 billion episodes and things like that but hopefully you guys did enjoy the video i might actually have to go ahead and purchase some gems just so i can have more builders to be able to build more things at once and get this series moving along with because obviously with more builders it takes less time for waiting for one of them to finish to work on another thing but that's basically it for today's video guys i hope you guys did enjoy the video let me know what you think of the new series down in the comments below remember this should not affect the 8-ball uploads in any way it's just another thing to add on to the channel obviously let me know in the comments down below if you guys want more videos of clash of clans let's plays and don't forget to like and subscribe if there's something in this let's play that i'm missing out on or you think that i could do better also tell me that in the comments down below and i will see you guys next time probably tomorrow i'm wavis and i'm out bye